Yesterday, we learned about Lewis and Clark and what they did. Just to refresh your memory, they started their journey in St. Louis, Missouri and ended all the way northwest to Oregon's Pacific coast. As you can see on the map, it was a long journey. Along their journey, they encountered many animals that not many people have seen before. Let's find out what kinds of animals that they did see. On a piece of paper, make sure to write down each of the animals' names and two facts about each animal. Let's begin. One of the animals was the bison. These big furry guys can stand up to six feet tall just standing there and can weigh over 2,000 pounds. Just because they're big doesn't mean they can't run. They can run up to 40 miles an hour if they need to. And the horns on their head can grow up to two feet long. Their diet consists of grasses, herbs, shrubs, and twigs, and they were found grazing in the Great Plains area. Another animal that they saw along their journey was the coyote. Coyotes can grow up to four feet long and weigh up to 50 pounds. Because they're in the dog family, or canine family, they can be very fast. Like the bison, they can run up to 40 miles per hour. These animals are omnivore, which means they eat plants and other animals. They eat almost anything. They hunt rabbits, rodents, fish, frogs, and even deer. They also eat on insects, snakes, fruit, and grass. The next animal is called the elk. This animal is part of the deer family, but is much bigger than the deer. They can grow up to 5 feet tall and their antlers up to 4 feet tall. That makes them stand up to 9 feet tall total. The elk can weigh up to over 1,000 pounds. The elk are herbivores, which means they are vegetarians, and they look for grasses to eat along their journeys. The golden eagle is one of the birds that Lewis and Clark saw along their way. This is a very big and fast bird. It can grow up to over 3 feet long and their wingspans can be up to over 7 feet long. The golden eagle can weigh up to 15 pounds and when in the air they can reach speeds up to 150 miles per hour. They are carnivores which means they only eat meat. Their diet consists of rabbits, squirrels, reptiles, birds, fish, and large insects. They've also been known to attack full-grown deer. Lewis and Clark found these birds as they went further west along the coast. Now on to the grizzly bear. The grizzly bear can grow up to 800 pounds and up to 8 feet. These bears can be found up in the northwest region. Like the coyote, they are omnivores. The bears are known to eat nuts, berries, fruit, leaves, and roots, and other animals such as rodents and moose. They can chase the other animals by running up to 30 miles per hour. Next up is the mountain lion. This wildcat is a carnivore and is known to eat deer, coyotes, porcupines, and raccoons. They can grow up to 5 feet long and up to 130 pounds. The mountain lion can run up to 35 miles per hour chasing their prey. Lewis and Clark found them along the western part of the United States. Another bird that Lewis and Clark saw was the white pelican. The size of their body can grow up to 5 feet and their wings span up to 10 feet long. The white pelican can grow up to 30 pounds and is a carnivore. Their main diet is fish. They have elastic pouches for their mouths to keep fish in. They hit their wings on the surface of the water and wait for fish to come up and the pelican scoops them right up. They can hold up to 3 gallons of water in their bill. The white pelican was found by the western coast during Lewis and Clark's expedition. The last animal you're going to see today is the wolverine. The wolverine is part of the weasel family and can weigh up to 40 pounds. These animals can grow up to be a little less than 3 feet. It's an omnivore and is known to eat plants, berries, rabbits, rodents, but also known to attack much bigger animals. They also savage on the dead bodies of deer, caribou, and elk. Now on to a fun activity. You've just discovered a new animal species. Along their trails, the pioneers saw many animals that not many people have seen before. 
You are part of Lewis and Clark's expedition to the west, and it's your job to draw any new animals that you encounter along the way. Pretend that along your trail to the west, you discover a brand new animal species. On a piece of paper, draw a picture of the animal and its environment, and describe it. The name of the animal, where it lives, what it eats, and explain some distinguished features that it might have.